Hello and welcome back to Simon Outdoors. Thank you very much for joining me again. Uh, I've just been talking to you about the Mora uh, 120 carving knife. Um, I've managed to run upstairs and I've found my wife's battery pack. As you can see there's not much battery left in there, it's probably only one or two bars in it. I did have a blue one like this um, that was lost while moving. So uh, if you've got a spare one and you don't use it anymore, <laughs> they're very, uh, they're very good. Uh, so yeah, if you've got a spare one, you don't use it anymore. Send it my way. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll use it. I use them a lot. Well, I did used to when I was uh, recording before. Now then, next thing I want to talk to you about is not a uh, jumping straight back into a mora, but is this saw this is the laplander the backo laplander and this sheath is one that i made myself with an off-cut piece of leather from the leather i was given to make a sheath for my knife now different to making a nice sheath i just pressed this leather down and and dried it with a hairdryer to take its shape but with this one because i really wanted it to, to make the shape of this laplander as you can see there's some lines in the sheath i made the mistake of clamping some wood on which um, held it into shape. So, we're not going to talk totally about the sheath. We're going to talk about this Laplander. Excuse me a second. Back again. I think the dog's barking because it's New Year's Eve. She can probably hear fireworks, I can't. So, it's the Baco Laplander. I've had this one a year. Previous to this, I've been using uh, cheap little folding saws very similar uh, that you get from uh, any DIY store something like that so I bought this one and I paid over average I bought this at the bushcraft show paid about 21 pounds for it and uh, I have been lucky enough to pick them up for about 15 I did buy two a while back and then I gave one to a friend who was helping us with cardboard boxes for moving house because otherwise I just won't be able to do it now something you might notice Holding the saw at this angle, moving this angle, definitely at this angle, you can see the blade is bent. So let's open her up and take a look. We open up the Baco Laplander by pressing this button here, like it says. Hold the button down and open the saw, and it will click into place. Not much of a click, but yes, definitely a click. Now you can see the the mark there. Where this was bent. I've only got the Baco Laplander. Uh, I don't have a silky saw, so we'll get that one out of the way straight away. I would love a silky saw, but I don't own a silky saw. I'm going to give you a couple of differences between the Baco and the silky saw, though. I have been lucky enough to use a friend Zubat, and I was very impressed. Now, the Lap Laplander, the Baco Laplander. Its teeth work on the pull and push cut, so like every other normal saw, forward and backwards, they will cut. Which is something I really like. I like saws that cut both ways. Um, so you're using all your energy is going into a cut every time, whether you're going forwards or backwards. The other com thing I like about this is that the teeth go right to the end, literally right to the end. So if I'm uh, cutting, I'll give you an example, I'm cutting some hazel, and hazel uh, grows like a bush, uh, and I'm selecting a size piece of hazel that I want to make something with, whether it's a walking stick, or a spindle for a bow drill, or even the bow for a bow drill. I want to be able to get in and around all these other pieces of hazel, and cut the one I want, and I'm using this tip then, I'm using the tip of this blade. Uh, and I want to get in there and I can do that with a Baco Laplander. The difference is with a silky, a lot of the silkies, the tip here has almost like a blob. It goes it's around and comes back. It probably only joins in one or to the third tooth. So, so it comes in, joins to the second or third. I haven't got a Laplander here to compare you. So that's a restriction that I've noticed with the silky saw compared to the tobacco Laplander. Now I mentioned that the silky saw uh, only work on the pull cut, so as you 
pull it towards you it cuts the wood as you push away it doesn't it doesn't do anything it just cleans the the cut out cleans all the bits of wood out the cut so the Laplander there we go I wish they did a bigger model a bit like the silky saws I wish they did a few more models and I wish they watched this film and heard me say that and actually did it because I think this is a fantastic saw but with a lot longer blade I'll be able to tackle more the reason this blade is bent is because I've tried to tackle more than um, it's, it's able to I've actually cut trees down that are wider than this blade you know the blades here and, I, and I'm I'm probably cutting a tree over this thickness and having to move all the way around the tree to bring it down because this has been the only saw that I've had now I have taken out bow saws sometimes but it depends where I'm going what I'm actually planning on doing for the day but the back of lap lambda is something you can put in your backpack let me just close this blade up now so you hear it click then So I just press that button in, hold it, but once you've you've bent the blade in so far, you're okay, you can close it, let go, and just make sure when you close the blade, it slots right in there, and then it's locked, it won't come back out again. Sometimes if you try and close it quickly, and you accidentally push the blade to one side, it sticks into the frame, just open it back up again and close it in. So that's the back of Laplander. It's, as far as I'm aware, it's all plastic. <laughs> I say all plastic. The, the main handle is plastic. Uh, of course, the blade is steel. I don't know what kind of steel that they've used on this. I don't know stuff like that about it. Uh, other comparisons, I have used a Gerber folding saw. The difference with that one was it was a fine cut saw. This one's more of a rough cut blade. Uh, that was same as the silky that only cut on the pull cut and the frame of the saw this actual part was plastic and rubber on the outside but was these pieces here were actually steel so unlike this one when you can open it and close it like I said earlier and you push you push it when you're closing it and you hit the frame the teeth are only going into plastic and rubber if you did that with the uh, Gerber one your teeth are actually going into steel so that's going to damage some of those teeth there but thank you very much for joining me Simon Outdoors talking about the Baco Laplander now join me again in a minute and I'll talk to you about two other knives take care and I'll see you soon